Hey, what is going on guys? CK Drifter 458 here and today welcome back to Forza Horizon for part 7. So today we're going to be doing a few races on the purple schedule or the purple wristband, simple like that, just to get them all completed because I really, really, really want to try and move on to the gold wristbands events right now. So, uh, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to verse Haley Harper for her Celine S7. So, we're going to fast travel there, guys. Now, uh, I know a number of you have been saying do more custom car episodes for Horizon. So, uh, I think I'm going to do one later tonight. I'm not too sure, but I just I was going to do a Simpsons Hit and Run episode today, but I'm like. I wasn't in the mood for it, I was more of a Horizon mood, so I'll probably do a Let's Play episode, which this is, and then a Custom Cars episode later tonight, so hopefully you guys would like that. Now, let's see, she's rolling an R3, so I could probably use the Aventador for this. Yes, I can, oh yes. Yes, I can. Oh yeah, now, just apologies for the background noise, because my... Neighbours are actually doing some work in their house, so you might hear some like knocking sounds and stuff like that. Pretty damn annoying, but it has to be done, apparently, so... Oh, God. Oh. That is a nice rivalry right there. Damn. Now, in terms of the Selena 7, I'm not a massive fan of it, but that... Damn, in red it looks nice. Oh, yeah, baby. Aventador vs S7. Oh my god. Oh man. This is like my favourite Lambo of all time. I think it's a lot of people's favourite Lambo because it's just the bulkiness of it and just the sheer evilness of the sound and the looks and stuff like that. It's amazing. Stop bashing me. Stupid bitch. Oh my god. Oh. Damn it. And then the one thing I've got a criticism about um, about the Aventador and Horizon, is that the cockpit view feels kind of squished, it feels kind of right in your face, but they fixed that with Forza, 4, uh, Forza 5, I mean, because it's kind of pushed back in Forza 5 to give it like a more clearer view, so... Because she is freaking flying! Damn! Now, I think this thing, well I know this Aventador has 700 horsepower, it's actually 691 in real life, but... Um, I can't really remember how much horsepower the Selena 7 has. I think it's either 550 or 750. I think it's 550. Not too sure. Holy shit. That's a bit fucking slidey there. God, well, she's really moving quick. Dave, she's moving quick. Right. Try to hit. She hit the Prius at least. I'm going to give her that. Oh, where is she? Oh shit, she's right next to me. Ooh, Jesus Christ. That's. Stop fucking. Heard it, me, bitch. Oh, we always crash into the Chrysler. Oh my god. Yeah, guys, um, we're nearly at the end of the Horizon Let's Play because after we do all the gold wristbands and that, we've got the big event and then we've got to burst Darius Flint around the whole world. So, probably a few more episodes to go, guys, but I've really, really enjoyed this Let's Play. It's probably my favourite Let's Play I've done, one that I've enjoyed most. So, obviously, I won't be getting rid of the game because I still want to do custom car episodes and plus I'm still going to be bringing you footage of it when I've got Horizon 2 news so uh, but oh my god oh Jesus oh my god rolling 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 <laughs> oh my god but yeah um, as I said last week guys I'm going to be trying to make the second music wish list for Horizon 2 so that should be either coming tomorrow or on Friday because um, I haven't really had the time to do it, but um, I don't really know if to just make it one episode today. Because yesterday, I must admit, I put the episode of um, Need for Speed Underground 2 and GTA up about... Well, I put the GTA one up about 10 or 9, and the Need for Speed one up about 5, but I normally like to keep about 5 hours distance between the videos, because... It lets you guys watch them and not over get crammed with them, so... Let's keep this between ourselves, huh? No, I'm gonna tell everyone, bitch. I'm gonna tell everyone I won your Celine. Oh, yes. Um, so if you guys want to see a custom build of the Celine, that'd be pretty cool, because I know you can get insane power out of this thing, so... Um, 
I don't know what else we could do, but I just want to drive around right now just to talk to you about something, guys, because um, you may know Ralph Fulton, the creative director of Forza Horizon 2 and the creative director at um, Playground Games. I tweeted him last night asking if the Eagle Speedster and the Jaguar F-Type were going to be coming into Horizon 2. And he actually responded. I never expected that. Uh, he responded earlier today. And um, he says, I knew he was going to say this anyway. I knew he wasn't going to go straight, straight out and say yes or no. But he said that um, news on the car list will be coming over the coming weeks. So stay tuned. So I just replied saying, thanks a lot, man. I'm loving the work you're doing with the game and that. And I can't wait to tell people. Can't wait to tell you guys the updated car list because... I am super hyped about it because um, there's quite a lot of new cars coming out in the moment obviously like um, we've had some teaser picks of the Mercedes AMG GT which is kind of more of a F type A um, hot rod rival and the other car that I would like to see in Horizon 2 is the Maserati Alfieri. Now Maserati have confirmed that it's going to be in production which is very very good and they've also said it's going to be very hard to tell between the concept and the uh, road going version. Now, I'm very glad of that because at first I wasn't a massive fan of the Alfieri, but um, it was just the back end. I thought it was a bit too bland looking, but now when you look at it, it's got that booty. It's got a settling ass booty because I love it. I really, really do like it. It's more, I think everything's going after the F type because everyone's jealous now. I think even Porsche are jealous of the F-Type because the 911, you could argue it's at its weakest point right now, although I don't think it is because I really, really like the new Turbo S and the GT3, although they catch fire. <laughs> but I really, really like them cars, but the F-Type Coupe R, I wasn't a fan of at first, and that's fucking big news coming from me, but over time in that, like a few months ago, I've started to soften to it because... I've always been a massive fan of the convertible, which is the best. The V6S and the V8S convertible are the best, so... Um, but the Coupe R is gorgeous, it really, really is. Um, but I also tweeted Dan Greenwald at Turn 10 to see if he could bring in the Jensen Interceptor. Now, that would be a very good car, that's never been in Forza before. And I think it would suit the Italian coastline, because I know it has a British car in that, but it'd be really, really cool just to cruise along with, because it's a big muscly car. It's a British muscle car, let's just say that. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump into another race, but we've actually got some news about Gran Turismo right now, guys. So, uh, there's been a ton of new GT Vision cars out, and I know a ton of you have been saying, go back onto Gran Turismo, go back onto Gran Turismo, but I've been afraid to do that because a lot of people have stopped doing Gran Turismo 6 because it's not really getting many views, but with the new cars, I think it should because... There's a new Aston Martin coming out for Gran Turismo, so... You're gonna need a new car oh god, let's see. I can take you to the... A new car? Is it a Bentley? Yeah, it's a Bentley. But yeah, um, I might be doing a review or something like that on that, because if it's like anything like the DB10 that was seen in the concepts, oh my freaking gold! Looks nice, but yeah, we're gonna go in the Bentley Continental, oh yes. There's only one colour for this. It's not even black. Damn, man. That ain't even black. That's like a purpley colour. Um, oh, for crying out loud. We'll just go for it anyway, because it's closest to... Ooh, okay. That looks nice. That looks nice as well. Um, go for this one. Go for this one, guys. Uh, but yeah, I'll bring you a view of the Aston Martin car or something like that, but... Tell me in the comments, guys, do you want me to jump back onto Gran Turismo? Because it's sometimes I'm missing it right, but at other times I'm like, the graphics are kind of crap compared to other games, even Forza Horizon, but... Oh, man, there's so many cars in it, which is really, really good. It's just the handling that I'm not really a big fan of, but although I do like the drifting in the game when you get the hang of it, it's really, really good. Um, but yeah, tell me in the comments, guys. So probably will start to go back onto Grand Twister because I feel as if I've been doing the exact same thing for the past week or so. It's like Horizon Underground um, GTA, Horizon Underground GTA, kind of like that. So I'd rather get back into GT6 and do some stuff. Oh my god! It's all big Bentley's! 
Yes! Now, I actually want to do a custom car build in this thing because I really, really liked the car I had on my first playthrough. Uh, well, not, I didn't record the first playthrough, obviously. This is my first Let's Play of Horizon, so... Oh, it sounds like a peach. I like to hear it, guys. So let's get that big British grumble. That's what it is. Absolutely brilliant. I love this version of the Continental GT. Um, but if you're not aware, guys, they brought out a GT3. I think it's a, it's a, a Continental GT3. S, I think it's S or a R, I don't know, or an SR. Fastlane Daily reported on it, and oh my god, though, it looks amazing. It looks absolutely amazing. It's got a spoiler and everything on it. Now, the only the only way I can describe it is if you know the Alpha from GTA, the one that I've got, the Rick Ross mobile, it kind of looks like that because they've actually added a spoiler to it with like the, the GT3 decals and vinyls on it. It looks pretty cool. It looks really, really good. So type it in Google if you haven't seen it, guys. It's a pretty, pretty cool car. Right, if this motherfucker could get in my way. You big Bentley, move your ass. Oh, understeer, understeer off the road. Doing a James May there, taking it off road. Oh, yes. But yeah, guys, um, there was another thing I wanted to say to you. Um, Oh, what was that again? Damn it, I cannot remember what it was, because something pretty damn big enough. Uh, damn, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I'm just... I'm so excited for, like, future games right now for this year, guys, because obviously Horizon 2 is coming out in September. Then we've got... Uh, I think all the big games, apart from Horizon 2, comes out in November, because you've got, like... Well, apart from Drive Club, that comes out in October. Um, although, I don't know if I'll be getting that, because... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. I'm not going to fucking win this one. No, no. That was me taking it easy there, guys. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I'll come back and do that one later, but yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure if I'm going to be getting Drive Club or PS4, because... I was just going to get it for Drive Club, but then... Comparing it to other games, it doesn't really look that good. Don't get me wrong, the graphics look freaking amazing, but the handling, what they've said they've done to it, is like brought it back to basics for like casual players, which I don't like. I don't like that. That's why I'm glad that Project Cars is on the scene, because that is made for hardcore racers like me and you guys. So, hardcore racing fans, which is very, very good. So, um, I mean, it's... Ooh. E type Paloo Jag, yes! Oh my god, I think we might take a photo of this, guys. Oh, yes, we shall. We might make this the thumbnail pick. Oh man, because I've actually been thinking of doing a little a mini series on Horizon, like Horizon Photographer, because I've done that for one episode of Gran Turismo 6, uh, and you guys seem to like that, but that's all I do. Apart from like doing the Let's Plays, I love going around taking photos. Of Cars and Horizon, that is a very good pick actually, because I am, um, when it comes to photos, I need, I really, really need to go into detail with it, because if it doesn't look right, then, that looks perfect actually, if it doesn't look right, I don't take the picture, so I might possibly make that the thumbnail pick guys, I might possibly make it, um, but yeah, it's amazing, I just want to thank, yet again, the support in the videos, um, I know I said it the past couple of videos, but it's just amazing, guys, because you don't know how much you mean to me, seriously, because um, I had a guy the other day comment on the video saying that uh, I was quite similar to Spears the Amazing. Now, that is probably the biggest compliment I could ever get, because Spears is probably my favourite YouTuber, apart from, like, Vanos and H2O Delirious and that, um, who everybody loves, but Spears, he's, like like, one of my idols of YouTube, because I kind of get inspired by him, because um, he's just so funny, he's really, really funny, and um, the comment that the guy gave me was like, uh, you guy, you and Spears are really, really random, and that's why I like you, so it's amazing, thank you whoever sent in that comment, it's absolutely amazing, oh my god, Bentley, you need big breaks, oh man, now, 
Tell me in the comments, guys, what version of the Continental do you like best? That'll be the question of the day. What version of the Continental do you like best? This is probably my favourite version because it's got the V8, it's got, like, the swag and everything like that because, I mean, in this silver it looks pretty damn cool. I really, really like it. But the original Continental I wasn't really a fan of because it had that freaking fish looking face that I don't like. It's all that, yeah, 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 all bunched up. So, yeah, I don't really like that version. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and do the Chevron 60 Speedway. Oh, yes. Now, I have a funny feeling this is going to be muscle cars. Yep, it might be. Let's see. Um, 1960 to 1969. Ah, 69. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> that is not funny at all. Um, oh, my God. See if we can do it in a minute. No, um, will we do it in a Daytona? Yeah, we'll do it in a Daytona. Uh, I don't know if I brought you a video on the Daytona, guys. Uh, because it's a very, very sexy car. Oh, I like the Daytona. It's very nice. One of my favourite, favourite muscle cars of all time. Um, now, I just want to talk briefly about the barn finds in Horizon 2. Now, I just recently remembered something. Now, you may remember the news video that I brought you a few weeks ago saying that over half of the barn finds of Horizon 2 are going to be new. So, what's the other half going to be? Is that going to be the exact same barn finds as Horizon 1? I really hope don't do that because that is losing satisfaction because even if it's cars that have been in the Forza series before but don't make it the exact same freaking cars um, that we had to find in Horizon 2 like this one. Make it like the Ferrari 250 California or something like that or the Jaguar E-Type or something like that. That'd be really, really cool. Um, but I know there's going to be a lot of new barn finds, which is really, really cool, but uh, the barn find total in Horizon 1, I think it was like... Hmm, i trying to think about eight or nine, but the way they're saying uh, half are going to be new, it's made me think they're going to be like 15 to 20 barn finds, which is really, really cool. Obviously, the world is going to be a hell of a lot bigger, so... It's going to be mega, guys. It's going to be absolutely mega. Now, a couple of cars that I would like as barn finds would obviously be, I think I mentioned this before, the Mark 1 GT40 Ford GT thing. Whatever they were. I said that the wrong way around. The Mark 1 Ford GT40, because that's a classic British car, even though um, some American people say, oh, it's Ford, so it's an American company. But the original GT40 and the Sierra Cosworth and the Escort and all of that, British cars, so it's. I really, really, really hope that comes back or actually comes into the Forza series because it's never been in before. It's always been in Gran Turismo for some reason, but never in Forza. Um, but the one thing I would absolutely hate if they put as a barn find is the Eagle Speedster because that is technically a 2012 car, but. Um, a 2011 car, actually, sorry about that. Um, Obviously, it looks the exact same as an ET. Why am I losing these races? What the hell? Come on! What the hell? I was going quite fast there. That sucks. That sucks. Doesn't matter. I'll go back to it later, as I always do. Um, but yeah, um, a couple of more cars I would like to see. This one may surprise you. An old Land Rover Defender, because. We've not really had a Defender in a Forza series before. I think it would suit the crew more, um, but I think the like a modified Defender would destroy the off-roading sections in the game because Ralph Fulton in that says there's going to be more off-road sections, which is really, really cool. More open world this time, which I'm very, very glad of. So it's going to be mega, absolutely mega. Um, but yeah, tell me in the comments, guys, what cars would you like to see as barn finds? That's the top three I would like to see. The Ferrari, well not the Ferrari California, the GT40, the Land Rover Defender, and something else, I don't know. Hmm. I'm actually in the mood to buy a new car, guys, for some reason, I don't know why, but how much money have I got right now? Uh, let's see. 1.2 mil. I could buy an Eagle Speedster. <laughs> I could buy an Eagle Speedster, couldn't I? Um, but I kind of want to leave that to the end of the Let's Play and do like a special episode on it, so 
I'm not going to buy it yet. I'm going to go into the auto show and see what I can buy. But something like an S rank or an R3 rank, because that is the more races that pop up these times. Um, let's see. LT. S rank. Ooh! M3 GTS. I love that car. 360 Challenge to Dali. Uh, the Ferrari Fat Fucker. <laughs> as I like to call it. The Ferrari FF. Or the Fat Fucker. Um, ooh, SLS. Now, a number you've been saying, do a build on this, the Shelby 1000. Tempted, very tempted, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to buy it, I mean. I might do a build on it, though, but... Audi R8, V10 GT. Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, that's a big disappointment for Horizon 2, guys. Porsche aren't going to be in it. <laughs> why? Why? Damn it. I don't know why, but... F12 Bellinetta? Impossible. Ooh, I forgot this was in it. The Performante. Oh, I like that car. I love it to bits. Um, so, I might go get the Performante. I'm not too sure, because I really, really like that car. Um, hmm, let's see here. F12 or Performante, that's the one I'm going for. Uh, let's see. Let's go for the Performante, guys. Yes, let's go for this one. Um, come on, come on, load, damn it, load. Now, I'm trying to think of the actual, uh, oh, ho, ho, that map black though. Um, I always normally put this in like black or something like that, but I want to chop up the colour for a change. Top of it, oh, that looks very nice in that colour. Yellow surprisingly suits it. Hmm. Uh, I don't know, guys. Uh, let's see. The orange looks nice, though. Nah, we'll go for the yellow. We'll go for the yellow, guys. Yes. Um. Yeah, what was I going to say? I was going to say something about Horizon 2 again. I cannot remember. Um, oh, yeah, that was the other thing I was going to say to you guys. It was, um, a lot of you people have been saying, do a video with Domestic Mango now. Um, I recently, there was a comment in his new video where he actually spoke for the first time in a long time because he's got a brand new mic and he was saying he's going to be doing some Let's Play stuff. So, um, he commented, one of my subscribers, one of you guys actually commented saying, it'd be cool if you could do a video with EK. So... Um, I could have responded to it and then he responded to it saying, yeah, that'd be pretty damn cool. So, you never know. I'll try and get in contact with him again over Facebook or Twitter. And you never know. In the near future, maybe may be getting a video with Domestic Mango. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, this thing actually looks pretty damn nice in orange. I've never bought a Performante in orange, but it looks nice now. Here's another question for you guys. What is your favourite version of the sadly belated Gallardo now? Um... I'm starting to like the Huracan better than the Gallardo because it's more curvaceous. I know the Gallardo was pretty damn square, but the the Huracan or the Huracan, I think is how you pronounce it, but I'm still going to call it the Huracan. It's more curvaceous and sexy looking in my opinion, but the one thing that annoys me is that it's basically got the exact same engine note, if not slightly more ferocious than the Gallardo. Because I know it's got the, a bigger V10 or stuff like that, but it's still reminiscent of the Gallardo. <laughs> Little DSV, you ain't got nothing on me, sonny boy. You ain't got nothing. Watch this, I'm just going to go fucking flying by him. Oh! Hello, Mr. Prius. Hello. He's probably shitting himself. You see a big yellow Lambo. Let's just do this. I just love doing this to Priuses. See if I ever get a Lambo and we're like, where the fuck is he going? <laughs> Priest, it's a stop sign. It's a stop sign. What the hell? That just shows you do not trust Prius drivers, guys. So anyway, guys, I'm going to round this episode off here for Forza Horizon. Especially Forza Horizon 2 there, but yeah. Uh, expect to see the music wish list either tomorrow or on Friday. Um, I don't know. I think this is going to be the only video I'm going to put up today because... Um, it's just one of them days where I'm like, uh, just make one, 
I wanted to I wanted to make a video for you guys anyway, but I know at the same time I just kinda of wanna just chillax if you know what I mean. So um if you guys want to play with me on GTA, I'll probably be on later. Um so yeah. I will see you later guys. Tell me what you think of the episode. Did you like it? Did you love it or anything like that? Did you like the car I bought? And yeah, leave it a like and subscribe if you guys are new for more Horizon, GTA and more. See you next time guys. Peace.